when I think about how quickly he moved forward from me to Marjorie, uh, that was disturbing. Not just for you, honey. Not just for you. Remember when Steve Harvey's ex-wife, Mary Lee, spilled the tea on Steve and Marjorie Harvey? Well, she was slapped with a gag order and a lawsuit after that for exposing Steve and his wife. And I don't know who sold the tea on Marjorie and her drug days, but it's messy as heck. But is it possible that Steve's ex-wife has something to do with it? Will Marjorie be going down for her dark past that is just about to hit the airwaves? Obviously, a lot has been said about Marjorie from how she got Steve right where she wanted him and how much she's making Steve work hard to maintain her very expensive lifestyle. But one thing people don't talk about much is how she jumped from one drug kingpin to the next back in the day. Apparently, there's a book coming out about all the criminal activities she was involved in by her ex and former drug kingpin, Jim L. Townsend. For a bit of background, Marjorie was under investigation in the 90s while she was married to drug lord Jim L. Townsend, who was indicted for attempting to buy 40 kilos of C-O-K-E. He was later sentenced to life in prison, but only served 26 years after being granted a pardon by then President Barack Obama. At the time, the FBI also wanted Marjorie because they suspected that she played a role in the drug ring and authorities told Jim that his wife would be arrested as the agents believed they had substantial evidence of her own illegal activities. Apparently, Jimmy cut a deal with the authorities to leave Marjorie out of it. He took the fall due to the fact that Marjorie was eight months pregnant with her second child, Jason, and he also said he feared their five-year-old daughter, Morgan, would be left without a mother if he didn't take a plea deal, but he's no longer sticking out for her. Back in 2019, Jim said that he was writing a tell-all book detailing all the criminal activities that took place in his and Marjorie's drug era. He also told Radar Online that he had reservations about sharing his explosive story because of his kids, but he decided to go ahead with the project whether Marjorie liked it or not. He was like, I have no allegiance to Marjorie. She showed her hand, so I'm going to tell my story. It don't matter if she knows about it. I'm pouring my heart out. No one knows what happened but me and Marjorie. Guess what? The book titled Snakes in the Garden, The Untold Story of the Life of Jim, aka Jimmy L. Townsend part one comes out in July 2023 and part of the description says you'll get a front row seat to see what it's like to face violence drug dealing, my marriage to Marjorie Harvey, current wife of actor comedian Steve Harvey, and greed, and how it can impact someone's life. Y'all, I don't know what really is in there, but it's a three-part book, and the first one goes for $29.99. Must be some really spicy tea for him to charge $29.99 and have it in three parts. I'm putting, I'm putting the truth out there, I should say, and, and you know, just let people be the judge. I don't know the specifics, but I'm wondering whether the book will touch on how after the split, Margie was also linked to another drug dealer, Donnell Woods, who is the father of her youngest daughter, Lori. Well, there were also rumors that Donnell happens to be Jimmy's cousin. So for Marjorie to move from Jimmy to Donnell, even I have to admit that that is a bit shady and something that would make a good chapter in the book. Something else that a lot of people bet will come out is whether Marjorie was an addict herself. I mean, considering she was so deep into the drug ring, there's a high possibility that she was also using heavily. Maybe even still does. Yo, I don't know about you, but I'm definitely looking forward to whatever will be spilled in the book. Well, a lot of people are also saying that Marjorie being on the headlines is simply karma for what she and Steve did to Steve's ex-wife, Mary. For those who don't know, Steve met Mary at a mall in Texas in 1989. Shout out to my my birth year and when they met she was working as a makeup artist in 1996 mary and steve tied the knot and they remained together for nearly a decade but the marriage was filled with tons of flaws one of the major problems being marjorie mary actually said that after the divorce from steve she was cut off from the lifestyle that she lived while with steve and even the designers that once begged her to wear their fashions no longer answered her phone calls mm. and the one time she spilled some serious tea was when she dropped those infamous youtube videos exposing the heck out of Steve and Marjorie. You know, the one she was forced to delete after Steve and Marjorie took her to court. But y'all know that once it's on the internet, it's not usually completely erased. Anyway, in the videos, she said that Steve took everything from her. She got evicted from her home and that he turned her son against her. He took my Winton. Took my Winton from me. He 
turned my son against me. And the infidelity, OMG! Mary even added evidence in the form of an NSFW email from Steve Harvey to another woman and a letter sent from another woman to herself detailing an affair. The letter, which was meant for Steve, allegedly detailed their cheating escapades, protection usage, hardcore activity, and even getting rid of a pregnancy. With all the emails and uh, the text messages and the different things that were that I was finding out about. I thought the least that he could do make me whole at the end of it. He he left. He just left, walked out the door. Once he realized that uh, I was going to divorce him, he walked out the door, went right to New York to our apartment that we had there, which I never got to see by the way, but and then she joined him there. Actually, when it comes to Marjorie, she also spilled that Marjorie was Steve's mistress, who at one point called the family's house on their private, unlisted number and pretended to check up on her application to work at Steve's suit company. And then she went ahead and talked about how Marjorie contributed to ruining her marriage. Honestly, I get where she's coming from, considering she is also the one who invested in Steve's endeavors when he had absolutely nothing, only for another woman to sweep right under her nose and is now enjoying all of the fame and fortune. Well, Mary did say that all she wants is justice. In her words, I want justice. I want what I worked 16 years for. I was with him when he had nothing, so I earned my stake in the wealth. I want everything back that Steve and Marjorie took from me. They think they can lead me to die, but I want what's mine. I want what I worked for. I want my share. Half of everything that they both have since 2005 is mine. So at the time when Mary was exposing Steve and Marjorie, they denied the allegation in a statement saying, we are appalled and aware of the videos and other fabricated documents, which contain false, misleading, derogatory, disparaging, malicious, explicit, and slanderous information about Mr. Harvey, his current wife, and others. We are saddened that the ex-wife has resorted to such devious and selfish behavior with a reckless disregard for their minor son, her adult son, and Mr. Harvey's other children. You know, it's not that hard to believe that Steve and Marjorie kept Mary from everything, including her son, because Marjorie's ex, Jimmy, also said the same thing about his kids. He told the Globe that he and his kids started spending time together after he got out of prison, but then he accused Steve Harvey of forbidding Marjorie from talking to him, saying, all those years, I could call night or day and she was always there for me but when she met him the phone was cut off the next day. I wonder if that part will also come up in this book. Mostly I think we'll just be getting the tea on how Marjorie was involved in the criminal activities and possibly how she was using as well. And you know who will probably be reading that book with a hot cup of tea next to her? Dear Mary. Well that is if Steve and Marjorie don't stop the book from getting out. But let me know what y'all think of Marjorie's criminal activities being exposed in the comments section below.